Hello, everyone. This is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. I want to welcome you again to another opportunity to share with you the fact that I care. This podcast is designed to encourage you, to strengthen you in your daily walk with the Lord. And so I want you to understand that right now we're living in times that are unprecedented times. We're living in times where things are changing constantly. Things are, are worse than they've ever been simply in this nation and, and around the world, to tell you the truth about the matter. Uh, but we are living in perilous days, as the scripture talks about. And so I just want to encourage you because the Lord our God is faithful, he is gracious, he is good, and he's kind, and he has you on his, on his mind. And he has nothing but good planned for you. And so as we honor the Lord, as we bless the Lord, I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to share some things with you today uh, that's going to help you in your walk with the Lord, to help you in your strength. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the glory of our God. And, you know, we are designed to be victors. We are designed to be overcomers. And we got to recognize the fact that we are living in warfare. We are actually in spiritual warfare with the wicked one. But we thank God Almighty. He's equipped us. He's given us everything that we need to win this battle. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'm not talking about just your personal battles, but I'm talking about the battles of life in general that's taking place around us right now. Again, because evil is loose in this land like never before. And uh, so I want to just share with you from the book of 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. And it says this, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Again, it says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Let me share that with you from the Passion uh, translation of the scriptures. It says, uh, for although we live in, live, although for although we live in the natural realm, we don't wage a military campaign employing human weapons. And so the whole thing is that we have to recognize the fact that we don't battle with our flesh and our blood, but there's a different walk that we have because the scripture says in the fourth verse here in the King James, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty, would you say that would be mighty, uh, through, the God, through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And then it says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity, listen to this, and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now that's a very powerful uh, passage of scripture. It's a very powerful statement in the fact that we recognize that we don't war, hallelujah, after the flesh. Our, our fight is not the flesh. Our fight, our battle is to trust and believe God. And we do that through our faith. And so I just want to point out a couple of things to you here uh, concerning that because we do have weapons. We have great weapons of warfare that are at our disposal at all times. The first weapon we have is the name of Jesus. Again, I want to say to you, the first weapon that we have is the name of Jesus. At, at, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. And not only that, but recognize the fact that in the name of Jesus, we have access to our Father. And our Father loves us and he prepares us for the battle. I'll share with you again tomorrow on I Care. <laughs>